Welcome back. I hope you found last week's tutorial on VoiceThread very helpful. This week we'll be covering a site called Storybird. Storybird is actually a collaborative story making site. Um, it provides the pictures for you and then either yourself or students or whoever else has the opportunity to then write a story based upon those pictures. The best thing about that of course is the fact that those pictures are already there. I have a tendency to find that in my classroom when we're writing a story, students would prefer to spend about 59 minutes on creating pictures and about a minute just to actually write the story. So we'll talk a little bit more about Storybird and how to use it in our next segment, but for this one I just want to show you how to sign up for a class account and how to use the teacher dashboard. So we're just going to click on sign up here from the Storybird homepage. There's three different class or three different account types. We're going to click on teacher class. You can just go through and fill in all the information over here. Uh, once you're finished, it should probably send you a confirmation email. Um, I've already done all this, so I'm going to go ahead and click sign in. So anytime you come back to the site after you've filled all this out, just click sign in. we're going to sign in here and it will bring you right to the teacher dashboard now the nice thing about this is really how well it's organized uh, there's some tutorials here so if you need to learn how to better use the site you can watch those tutorials um, it shows any assignments that you've created uh, when the date was due any story birds that were entered for that um, and it also show you a class library so it will show you any of the books that have been turned in by your students and then down below it will also show you a list of all students that you have in there, how many story birds they have, if they have story birds done, you can click on that student and it will show you any of their story birds. So right now we want to add some students into our class. So from the top here, we're going to click on students. Um, when we're adding a student name, I highly recommend that you don't use last names. I know it says it's only viewable by your class. But just as a safety precaution, I like to only use a last initial. So in this case, I'm just going to do Joe S. Um, for a username, I'm sure Joe S is probably taken for a username already. So what I like to do is, as you can see down here, I like to put my room number at the end. And that makes it easy for me to remember as well. Once I've added that in, now I have Joe S in my class. Joe S is username and the password. Um, in order to change the password all you have to do is come over here as you can see you can remove the student if something that student moves or if something else happens where you messed up somehow you can remove them um, and then you can come over here to the key to change the password. So I changed the password for that student um, it's not going to show the password here, so you definitely need to make sure that you remember what that password is. Um, once you've gone through and you've added all your student names, the next thing that we can do uh, is we can come on over to our assignments to create an assignment for the students. Now the nice thing about this is any students that are in your class, when they log in, this assignment will show up on their page, on their dashboard, so that they can see exactly what they need to do and when it is due. So if we click on Add an Assignment, here we just have a little bit of information that we need to fill in. Um, I'm going to just put creative storytelling for this one. Um, just to show you an example, I actually cheated a little bit and I just copied and pasted uh, my description from a different one. But make sure that you use this space to fill in exactly what you expect from the students. Um, this is basically their instructions. If you want to, if there's some sort of image or photo that goes along with it, you can choose a file and upload one from your computer. Uh, you can choose whether you want spell check on or off, totally up to you. Um, and then you just need to choose a date that it's due on. And once you're finished, you just save the assignment. And now here you'll be able to see the assignment. Students will be able to see the assignment when, when they log on. And once they're done with their story based upon this assignment, you'll be able to see exactly what they did. So I hope you found this useful in setting up your class account. Uh, the next video will show you how to use Storybird. Thank you.